All right, this is really exciting. He's the youngest working sportscaster in the country. His name is Mason Kern. He's 18, only 18. He's known as a sports watchdog. And this is him interviewing Tony Hawk at the ESPYs. My goodness, I just figured out what I wanted to do last year. Uh, right now, he's enrolled at ASU's Cronkite School of Journalism. And this morning, he's joining us right here on Good Morning Arizona. He grew up in San Diego and already worked for a TV station in, in San Diego. So uh, congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate uh, you know, it. You know, every once in a while, somebody will come along and reach success at an early age. And I think you're the youngest I've ever heard of. So thank you. Good I for appreciate you. that. Yeah, it's, a, it's been a wild ride. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> it's been a wild ride at 18. That's hilarious. <laughs> how, how did you get that job? Because getting the job after college is the hardest thing in the world, let alone before you even go to college. You yeah. were 17 at the yeah, time. Yeah, I was. Uh, it's, it's all about connections. My mom is a publicist. Um, and when I started this, the Sports Watchdog brand, um, I kind of wanted to focus my lane in sports and be a part of the sports world and so the sports watchdog kind of started and developed and then when I contacted KUSI we did a, a segment on March Madness that was the first one I did and uh, that led to me going to the ESPYs and interviewing wow. uh, people there. I actually interviewed 26 people total. Uh, Tony Hawk, as you saw, Omar Bolden, whose picture just popped up. He went to ASU, played football. And I actually interviewed an ESPY winner as well, Anna Gasser. She's a snowboarder. And she actually won Best Female Athlete in an Action Sport. So Fantastic. That was a really cool experience. And I've had so many already. And I'm, I'm just blessed to have all these wonderful wow, opportunities. Wow, that's, that's really great. Did any of them look at you and go, Wait a minute, how old are you? The, actually, a majority of them did after they were like, uh, is, he doing the, is he doing the interview? And I was like, yes, I'm doing it. And then after they're like, wow, that was, that was awesome. Thanks for, thanks for having me. It, it was really, uh, I'm really happy that I was able to have well, that experience. Well, we're so excited uh, for you. Let's uh, put you on the spot. Let's talk okay. about the Cardinals. Yes. Uh, you know, they were predicted to do so well last year and were a big disappointment. What do you think this year and why? Yeah, I think they're going to definitely improve upon last year. They had injuries. Obviously, Carson Palmer, their quarterback, went down. But the running game was kind of stalled because David Johnson had to take over all the responsibility. He's kind of renowned to, to focus more on that this year. But defense, they lost four starters on the defensive end this year, but they did, through the draft, get two others in Hassan Reddick and Buda Baker who can fill those holes, hopefully. They lost Tony Jefferson, their leading defensive tackler. Mm -hmm. So they do have some holes to fill. I think age is a problem. Carson Palmer, 37, and Larry Fitzgerald, 34. Now, they didn't really recoup in free agency, but I think they do have pieces this year that weren't really exploited last year they'll be able to improve hopefully get to 500 maybe get a wild card berth we'll see how it goes okay uh asu women's soccer something i know zero about <laughs> yeah they just hired a new head coach uh graham winkworth he came from south alabama they're trying to get better from last year they've had uh injuries as well that kind of hurt their their team a little bit their leading scorer jasmarie mater went down um she's coming back this year for her senior season but i think this year the team definitely is bolstered they've gotten off to a a little bit of a slow start in tournaments, but they're just trying to find their stride with a new head coach and a new team relatively with transfers and such. So hopefully they're going to bounce back this year and be much well, better. Well, fantastic. You know your stuff, no doubt about <laughs> it. So you're going to ASU. You're probably taking the prereq classes now. Exactly. You're going to be so far above the other students when you finally get to the TV stuff. <laughs> well, hopefully, yeah, that's the goal. I enjoy coming here and doing this with uh, great people like you. And yeah, hopefully I'll be a big part of Cronkite News in the future and the Walter Cronkite Sports Network as well. Well, you're well. off to a good start when you kiss up to your colleagues. Hey. That's a great way to do it. Thank you, yes. <laughs> so I appreciate that. Thank you for having uh, me. Will you come back occasionally and do some sports for us here? I would love nothing more, yeah. It'd All be a great right. time. Uh, we can't pay you, but that's, uh, that's fine. Olivia's hey. got, she'll buy you a coffee if you're old. Okay. Are you old enough to drink a coffee? Uh, I don't know, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's great uh -huh. meeting you, and uh, we're looking forward me. to watching your career. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, careful, Scott.